but it seems a bit strange starting a bit about the rear brakes at the front but just to observe that the brake fluid is nearly up to the top of the reservoir and it was down here before I changed before I changed the uh, fronts so it's actually gone up by this much the brake fluid has gone up by this much simply by the action of the piston pistons in the calipers being pushed in to accommodate the thicker friction lining now if we go to the back things get a bit more complicated here because what you've actually got is you've got a caliper with a hydraulic hose there which is effectively the same as the front but if you notice if I just take this off it's a lot busier so if we take this off one handed there we go see all those that cable there now that's the handbrake it's a mechanical handbrake which means when you're trying to adjust the caliper to take the thicker new friction linings you're not just pushing the caliper piston in and displacing the fluid to the back to the front what you've physically got to do is you've got to wind that in with a suitably wide thing in my case it turned out to be this humongous pry bar but by turning this clockwise you will screw that into the caliper and that's the only physical way you're ever going to get it to open up to take the new friction linings and the reason why that thing is there is because that's actually part of the mechanical brake so when the cable at the back pulls it pushes that metal plunger out to apply the parking brake so don't keep trying to uh, push this in with a clamp it's not going to work it's not going to go anywhere now because you're dealing with a hydraulic brake as well as a handbrake if you set this up wrong you can end up with a handbrake that pulls to one side and that's going to fail your annual test also if that's too far out you're going to generate brake drag and that's hot it's noisy and it's wasteful and again if the wheels bind in you're going to fail your annual test so you need to look up um, the right Honda instructions for how much play there should be in this caliper with the pistons on the with the piston on these new brake linings but effectively the process is very very similar uh, make sure when you're working at the front the handbrake's applied and the back wheels are on the ground and if you're working on the back make sure the vehicle's in gear with the front wheels on the ground there so then when you jack it up it doesn't go walk about and possibly fall on your head which is a very bad thing even for people who are quite sick um, but anyway there we go just have a look at the proper Honda instructions as to how much play there should be when this caliper is actually in place on the new linings. You might also find that the bolts are a little bit more corroded than at the front because there's basically so much shit flying around. Don't tend to see as much of this at the front as on the back. But anyway, there you go. Um, sorry to leave you dangling, wanting some technical information, but you really do need to check how much play there should be here when the bolts are in to allow for the handbrake to work, but also for the brakes not to bind. Cheers.